Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to uh, talk about Republican voting records real quick. What the real ideas of the party are and how they're reflected in their votes. Because a lot of times you can look at rhetoric and you can listen to what they say, but that's not really how they vote. And we've had some recent examples of this that I think are worth mentioning. You know, when that decision came down from the Supreme Court, inside it, there was the idea that there were some other cases that needed to be reviewed, revisited, overturned, done away with. And these are cases that protected access to contraceptives, interracial marriage, same-sex marriage. Now, Republicans already feeling the heat from Roe. They were like, oh, no, we would never do that. That's not us. We're not, we're not that extreme. We're, we're your friendly neighborhood moderate. It's those, those Democrats. They're, they're the ones that are really, they, they've moved far away. All right. I'm going to throw something else in here because it really has to do with, with Roe and their whole argument there. And uh, because, you know, they said that was about states' rights. The states should decide. So when it came time to make sure that uh, people could travel across state lines to uh, get family planning, you know, into another state and allow that state decide, out of the... uh, 211, 213 Republicans in the House. 205 voted no. It's not about states' rights. That's a lie. That's a lie. They don't care about states' rights. They want control. They want to find people to kick down at. Tell them they need to stay in their place and do what they're told. It's not about states' rights. It's not about freedom. It never was. That's a lie. 211, 213 of them, somewhere in there. When it came time to protect interracial marriage, same-sex marriage, 157 voted no. Yeah, they're not for that either. The idea that they're not that extreme, that's not true. That's not true. And then when it came time to make sure that people could access birth control. 195 voted no. They're telling you who they are. And here's the other thing about this. And this is why this is really important to understand. They passed. All of these bills passed over Republican objections, right? Over these votes, they still passed. Which means the Republicans knew that their votes weren't actually going to stop it. They believe so much in these positions that they will take the heat for it. They will expend that political capital to vote against something that's going to pass anyway. A smart politician one that isn't radicalized, one that hasn't lost the plot, they would have, I don't know, abstained, voted yes, just to avoid upsetting the voters. But they couldn't do that because it's hardwired into them. They're authoritarians. They don't care about freedom. They don't care about states' rights. They don't care about anything that they said they do. It's about control, and it always was, Everything else, that's just, it's just empty rhetoric that does not matter. It didn't matter to them. Them saying they're not that extreme, they couldn't even fake it. They absolutely are. People need to remember this. People need to acknowledge it, accept it for what it is. Because understand, if you support these people, come election time, you need to come home from the polling station and apologize to your kids.
because you are taking away their rights, their freedoms, so you can continue a habit that you've had. So you can continue voting for somebody simply because they have an R after their name, because you think that at some point in time they reflected your values. I don't think they do. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.